Welcome to Eucanic. Today we have a 722.9 transmission here from our Mercedes Benz, and we are going to show you how to be able to change the ISM. This one happens to be off of an S400, and you can replace this ISM when it's on the vehicle, so no need to really drop the whole transmission out. It's just a bit tighter, tighter space, and but it's right there. So if you were the vehicle, this is on the left side of the transmission. So your driver's side, tucked up in there, and that's where this would be located, is your ISM. We have an electric connector that goes to it, and then we have the bolts to undo here. You might find it easiest, uh, if you're doing it when it's on the vehicle, to go ahead and remove the rear transmission mount, hold up the transmission, and then that will free up some access here, because the transmission mount and the plate that holds the transmission will be sitting right here, and so it becomes harder to get to. So we have four um, T30 uh, bolts to undo. All right, we undid the, uh, the four bolts there. And now, you just be able to move this off. You may need to use some little bit of a pry action in there. And what it is, it's mounted here, and it has a little um, spline down here, and this is what will actuate and move your transmission into gears. So you just pull it and be able to pull that off, and then remove to be able to replace this. You'll notice if you're looking at the back of it, it's telling you where the selector should be to be in park, reverse, neutral, and or drive. And so um, we can see, and then we have like a, a bigger spline missing down here at the bottom. So that would be that um, to line up with the bottom here. So you won't be able to put it on um, wrong and have, have the splines off, but you would want to make sure you have this twisted into the park function for when you're um, putting your new one back on. Now. One thing too with these, these are um, coded with the VIN number of the vehicle. And so if you're replacing this from another um, vehicle, because you've got a good use one, you will have to have some coding done for this to match the, the current vehicle. Or if you were say changing out this transmission and you changed everything, you could just change this from the old one if this was still good, as well as the valve body you will need to change so that they have the same um, VIN number in them as the vehicle that you're putting this into unless you're going to code everything. So once you've found a new one and a new good one to put on, it's really just a repeat or a reverse of what we... Lining up the splines there, that larger spline on the bottom, I may need to just adjust it a little bit. Yeah. All right, it's on there. And then just as simple as taking our four bolts Installing them back in, tightening them up, installing any other components you may need to take off to have uh, more access to it. And that would be how you would replace your ISM on a 722.9 transmission of a Mercedes-Benz in case you need to replace this for whatever reason. Um, and so thanks for watching Eucanic for You Can Be The Mechanic.